Hi, uh, it's me, Bob the Canadian, also known as Romp Steel. Uh, so this might be weird for some of you because you're used to me just being a bodiless voice uh, that talks about War of the Ring. So uh, yeah, here's my face. Um, I want to talk today about Tolkien's philosophy on evil. So in a lot of stories today, villains are you know, misunderstood or they have different priorities and they're not actually all that evil. In Tolkien's world, evil is real. So we see some evil characters that are offered a chance to be forgiven, like Saruman, Wormtongue, the Dunlandings, or the evil men from the south and the east after the last battle. But if evil, you know, insists on being evil, then they must be fought against, right? Because they're trying to destroy what is innocent and what is good. Uh, and you, you hear in a conversation between Strider and Boromir at the Council of Rivendell, um, where Boromir is talking about all the lands that they protect and how they get much praise and no thanks. Uh, sorry, uh, much praise, but little help. And Strider says that, you know, he doesn't even get any praise. He's, uh, uh, you know, known as Strider and not, not really liked by Bree and not known at all in the Shire, where he, he and the other rangers uh, strive to protect them. And sadly, our world is much too much like that. Uh, evil is real, and it is seeking to destroy what is innocent and what is good. And if there is no good force there to stop them, then they do. Uh, I'm talking about human trafficking, uh, which I'm not going to go into the details on in case there's uh, kids watching, but uh, you probably know about it, and if, if you don't, um, it's, it's, you can find out. It's, it's truly heartbreaking stuff. It, uh, I, I lose sleep over it. It's one of the most obviously horrible things in the world. Uh, so I, I want to specifically talk about this organization called Operation Underground Railroad. Uh, so they're, they're named after the Underground Railroad, which was in America, was trying to help slaves um, get to freedom. And that's what the organization is doing. They're, they're all over the world. They work with governments. They work with police forces to try to track down uh, the criminals who are doing the human trafficking and arrest them and then offer help, counseling, uh, and like housing to the kids and and older people who they save from human trafficking. Uh, so they're, they're doing a really, really important work of like exactly what we cheer for in Lord of the Rings, you know, like we, we cheer for the good guys to go and win the battles and stop the bad guys so that the world can live in peace, you know, and, and like these are the good guys that are going and fighting the bad guys and, and saving kids, you know, so I would... Um, I'd strongly encourage you to check out their website anyway they, uh, that explains all about it. They've, you know, um, their work has led to thousands of arrests and thousands of people rescued from slavery. Uh, one second. So yeah, here's their website up behind me. Anyway, uh, they, yeah, they just do really good stuff. Um, I would strongly encourage you if you have, um, like, if, if you're going to support anything, I, I would recommend that you consider it. I don't want to try to pressure anyone into giving because I don't think that's the right reason for anyone to give. Um, but I would encourage you to take your time, do some research, think about it because like what could be more important? You know, there's, there's kids out there that need to be rescued. Uh, so please think about it. Uh, yeah, that's all I had to say. Merry Christmas.